Christopher Johnson spent less than six years on death row. In comparison to the average, it's a very short period of time. Fox 10 News reporter Paige Malone tells us why. In September, Derek Mason was executed at Holman Prison after spending 17 years on death row. Before that, another execution after 13 years. And in June, Jason Oric Williams was executed after 19 years. So why did Christopher Johnson spend only six? That's because he didn't go through the appeals process. For many Alabama death row inmates, their last minutes are spent waiting for word on their final appeal. That was not the case for Christopher Johnson. He spent it with his brother, Thomas Lagos. We talked about the Bible. We talked about his repentance, about how much he regrets the sorrow, the pain he's caused a lot of the family members. Since 1977, only five death row convictions have been overturned. In the more than 50 other cases, it's ended like it did for Johnson in the execution chamber at Holman Prison. It's the right of the inmate to pursue the appeals process. It's also the reason the average time an inmate is on Alabama death row is just short of 16 years. Johnson spent only six years on death row for the brutal murder of his six-month-old son. Johnson represented himself in court and asked the judge for a death sentence. That's what he got. At this point, the appeals process would have started. Well, to my knowledge, he, he did not want any appeals. He did not want anybody to represent him, and, and he wanted to move forward with this. Johnson filed court papers so that no one would take legal action on his behalf. He didn't, didn't want to live any longer. He had lost a great deal of his life, the most important thing in his life. He had a bad childhood. He finally had a chance at at having love given back to him from someone that couldn't walk away or be given away or taken away and it was gone. The average cost a day for an inmate in Alabama is a little more than $48. That means the average death row inmate costs the state more than $27,000. And that's not counting the court costs for the appeals process or the cost of the execution.